Hello and welcome to the revised. What is the stalker and how to defeat him? I am your host Kopenich, and I will be detailing the stalker. Who is the stalker? He's a rogue Tenno who has got a warped sense of justice. What does this mean exactly? It means he's a boss that's kind of like a Warframe. He is level 45, and I will now be going into detail about how to make him spawn. First off, he spawns after you kill a boss. Not immediately after you kill the boss, but some on some random mission after you kill the boss. He can spawn on any mission other than an assassination, including void and alert missions. This is indeed confirmed for alert missions, however, it is unconfirmed for void, but people have said that they have seen him in the void. So. I have proof that he spawns in alert missions. I don't know about the void, but people have been saying that, so we're just gonna go with that. He is um, relatively powerful, and he's got weapons similar to Tano, your Warframe. He's got a scythe called Hate. He's got a kunai, set of kunai called Despair, and a bow called Dread. The kunai and bow are obviously projectile weapons and can be dodged as they are travel time weapons. So you just keep moving and it will be less likely that you will get hit by those weapons. They do about 100-150 damage and that's a uh, interchangeable or that is uh, reduced by armor or increased if you have less armor obviously. And um, obviously for someone like a tank like myself, a rhino or a frost, it's not going to be that difficult to soak some hits. He will only pursue the guy he's talking to, so you don't have to worry if you are an a nix and he's chasing after the rhino in your group. As far as his abilities, he's got a charge similar to the uh, rhino's charge, like I just did right now, or the uh, slash dash for Excalibur. It looks a little bit like both, and it's neither of the two. It's just his own unique charge, but it is just like both of them. Like that, he will charge. He does a stomp, somewhat like the Rhino, like this. That also hurts, so it's best to keep out of melee range of him there. And he does some, a smokescreen-like ability similar to the Ash, and he's invisible similar to the Loki, but it is neither of the two, exactly. While he is invisible, he cannot attack. Do not worry if he turns invisible, you don't have to run for your life. He can attack. He will also show up stealth. So after he's announced that he's going to kick your ass, he will unstealth from smoke screen. It will be a large black smoke screen. It will play a loud sound, and you will notice it. As far as how you know he will show up, the lights will flicker, everyone in the group can see this, not just the person who he's pursuing. The uh, After the lights flicker once, he will then talk to the person who he's pursuing. He will say the boss's name, something along the lines of, the blood of the boss is on your hands, or the, your crimes against the boss will not go unpunished. Then he will say some other threat, which is uh, interchangeable. And then he will say either I am your reckoning or your sentence is death. When he says one of those two lines, he will begin to attack his target. And that is when you can also attack him. You cannot attack him until he decides to attack his target. Sometimes he will pop up and he'll just be somewhere and you can see him. Other times he will be invisible and you can't see where he is while he's speaking to the person. But once he starts to talk, he is in the level. He is somewhere in the map and you will be able to look at him, see him, you can see his health, you can see his shield, you can see his level. And um, as far as fighting him, you just kite him around, keep your distance, don't get hit by all his melee attacks unless you're Nyx, in which case just use your ultimate and kill him in one hit. And um, when he gets to 10% or you overkill him and you do enough damage to kill him before he can kneel down at 10%, he will, if you don't, if you just spam him with a barrage of bullets, 
go to 10%, kneel down, and say, what have you done? That is a defeat of him, or killing him outright is also obviously a defeat of him. In which case, like I said, he will kneel down, say, what have you done? And then he will then have a chance to drop blueprints. Blueprints are just like any other item in the game, where they have physics. As you can see, the guys I'm killing right now, things are flying out of them. You see that right there? That could potentially happen to blueprints. Now, since items and everything else that fall up the side like this will just spawn right back around here, if that happens to the blueprints, you can look around and you have a good chance of finding them just laying around somewhere. So, if he does drop blueprints, or even if you don't know whether or not he dropped them, it is a good idea to look around because those are very rare. It is roughly a 10% drop chance. As far as him killing you and making him respawn, if he kills you, the target, he will leave and say something along the lines of you are no more or my job here is finished and he will leave. Meaning you just screwed your group over because the stalker has gone and no one, including yourself, will have a chance to get the blueprints. He will also, um, if he shows up and you don't fight him at all, and you complete the mission still, which you can totally complete the mission still, by the way. If he showed up and you don't even stand a chance, no one in your group stands a chance of fighting him, it's perfectly fine to just say, screw that and not waste one of your revives or not have your uh, teammate have to come pick you up. If he shows up and you don't kill him, or even if you do kill him, you will have to kill another boss in order to uh, make him spawn again. And um, that's about it as far as the stalker goes. He, to recap, Rogue Tenno, he'll pop up when you kill a boss in another mission, separate from the one he, you killed the boss in. He is level 45. He's got projectile weapons, kunai and a bow, and a melee weapon that you can avoid if you can constantly move. Don't move in a straight line towards or away from him. He has a charge, he has a stomp, and he has smoke screen. He cannot attack in his smoke screen like the Ash or the Loki. He will show up out of his smoke screen when he starts the fight. He the lights will flicker for everyone to see when he shows up. He will only talk to his target and he will only pursue that target for the entirety of the boss fight. At 10% he will admit defeat or if he's killed outright he will drop a blueprint. Chance not 100%. I know unfortunately the math doesn't add up if you kill him 10 times you didn't get a single blueprint but it's a 10% chance. And if you die to him, you will not get the opportunity to be revived by your teammate. Or you will just have to use your revive just right away. And he will leave after he's killed his target. That's it for the stalker. Good luck and have fun hunting him.